My name is Kirsten Andrews. So right now I'm in engineering and manufacturing, so we're dealing a lot with circuit building and um, this was just kind of like a fun little side project. Um, we work with 3D modeling spaces, we do engineering right now, we're um, delving into binary and building circuits, so yeah. Um, I just thought it would be wicked cute um, since Halloween was right around the corner and so I decided to make a little pumpkin that you could put a little tea light in. Um, this was a fairly simple design um, compared to some of the things I've done in the past. Um, the lid that comes off takes about two hours and this takes about uh, five hours mainly due to the supports that come from it being a circular object and having it be hollow. So about five hours. I decided to go ahead and do it and Mr. Olson said, yeah, sure, go ahead. And then it turned up, we printed out about 15 pumpkins and we spread them around the school. So yeah. Uh, the process is, first you've got to come up with the idea. It's the design process. You come up with the idea and then I um, made it out in this little program that we have called Inventor. Um, then we moved it and then we put it into the uh, file that can be read by the 3D printer and we 3D printed it and then I shaved off all the stuff that uh, it's built upon and all the supports inside and yeah. This is so uh, the, because you can see there's little teeth in the mouth and it's a bit curved. Um, the 3D printer prints upwards meaning uh, it starts in the bottom and it goes up and if you try to print stuff up into empty air it collapses on itself so uh, those are supports to make sure that the pumpkin doesn't collapse on itself. A little bit of work with an exacto knife and it comes out like this. I hopefully want to go into biomedical engineering when I leave high school which is a field of engineering that works on the uh, helping treat patients in hospitals and such and coming up with ideas and inventing machines in order to have better health procedures. Aspect I want to go into is more neurological, like you've heard of those prosthetic arms that people can move because it's connected with their head. I'm hoping to do stuff like that, um, helping patients that have been injured and doing stuff along the lines of that. Goal for the Hilltoppers this evening, number 10, senior goalkeeper Andrew Pinsons.
My name is Austin Karen, and I will be your local SWEN news weather reporter for this video. Now today we have a partly cloudy day with temperatures in the high 30s. You can expect this for the rest of the week with temperatures in the high 30s to the low 40s. Up until next Monday where we will have a mostly cloudy day with temperatures in the low 40s. Now from next Tuesday to Wednesday we'll have a morning snow shower with temperatures in the mid 30s to the low 20s. For Thursday we'll have a partly cloudy day in the high 30s. And finally on Wednesday we'll have another snow shower with temperatures in the low 30s. This has been your local SWEN news reporter Austin Karen. Have a good rest of your week.